Hello guys, so we are playing another match um, against d4. Let's go with the kings in the defense. We can see e4 in this position, knight f3 maybe. Okay, so he's going for a more aggressive line. He can also go uh, queen d2 and long castle. So in this position the question is do we want to go for with e5 immediately because sometimes when he's playing bishop to e3 we want to actually go um, c5. But c5 in this position is not really good because we exchange everything and it's going to be up upon. So in this position maybe we can even prepare it with the um, <clears throat> knight a6 and then we can take with the knight. So this is a very nice move. So let's play it. And the idea is that you want to attack from the uh, from the C file because most likely in those positions you can see that he's going to cast a queen side. So you plan already on the <clears throat> um, on the C file is going to open up some lines. Now in this position, I can go immediately with E6, but after uh, you going to uh, queen side castle or maybe even put a rook on a D file, we're going to have a lot of pressure on this. Uh, the pawn, which obviously we can defend, but uh, might be even even hard to do that. So obviously, I do want to prepare uh, a6 if possible. Also, <clears throat> knight to g5 can be a move, but we didn't play e5, so not not really a good idea yet. So in this position, <clears throat> I will play the move uh, rook e8 in order to maybe prepare this pawn push. And I do want to maybe play a6 when possible and try to open up the, <clears throat> the queen side. Okay, and also keep in mind that we can always play e6. But again, I, I'm a little afraid if that is going to put uh, tons of pressure on our position if we are not careful. So let's move the knight back. And again, he's playing quite aggressive, as you can guys see. So let's go. Yes, we always have a move for the knight, so we are completely fine. We, we might be a little worse in this position at the beginning, but we will try to do our best in order to try to launch an attack from the queen side. Now in this position, of course, if we play like this, I mean this rook, is not really defended so if we are going to play b5 he takes i takes he take i can even sack and take the rook so i think this is actually good for us okay because our rook is defended so we're going to take okay and now we can try to put some pressure on this knight i mean it it costs us a pawn but it will be i don't think it will be too hard to win this pawn back it's a double b pawn and we opened some lines and now as you see his king is still in the center and now we are even ready to play uh, e6 okay so <clears throat> in this position we need to find any weakness okay so we need to find maybe we can also try to put some pressure on this pawn which might be a good idea we can also play uh, queen b6 and uh, rook c7 uh, sorry knight c7 put some pressure on this pawn but for now, because his king is still in the center, let's go with e6, okay? Because now we can take with the rook. We are opening up some lines. Okay, and we need to try to punish him for uh, putting the... <coughs> uh, for not uh, casting, sorry. Okay, so next. I want to play this move, but I do want um, to find a solution. Okay, so let's play queen b6. Might be a little passive, but I want to put some pressure on this pawn. Okay, so I guess you got some ideas. Can we even push? If it takes... No, we don't really have anything. So push. No. So let's again put some pressure on this pawn. If it takes, I'm going to take like this. And if necessary, maybe we can even play knight uh, from c7 to e6 to f8 in order to protect this uh, weakness. So right now this knight is protecting uh, h7. 
bishop is protecting h6 and h8 and this rook can jump for the defense as well. So it really depends on what he's going to play. Okay, again you don't want to take the bishop because you can take it with the check, so not a simple position at all. Yes, we can fall back maybe. Hmm. Very aggressive line to be honest. So yeah, let's play knight e7. If he's going to take my bishop, I'm going to take with the knight. Okay, and notice also that... Okay, so he takes. Now, in this position, maybe even playing um, a pawn take e6. Because after takes, takes, he's got this check. We can also move here, because we don't really want to get checkmated and you will have a lot of pressure so maybe not the most precise game but okay and he cannot go h7 because of this knight also this pawn is restricted in this knight yeah so this is good But again guys, we still need to be careful and we need to be very decisive. Um, okay, because his king is still in the center, so <clears throat> we must uh, somehow punish him for that. Okay, so maybe we can try to collect some pawns and try to attack on the queen side on the king side right away. Okay, and again this pawn is protected. This knight is restricted by th those pawns, uh, h file is protected by the rook, uh, h7 is protected by this knight, so right now we are completely off okay, uh, at least as I'm aware. And we can try maybe collect uh, the pawns. Now obviously I don't really love that I blocked my rook, because I did want, I, um, I did want to have this uh, e file open and punish uh, white for not castling, but we will try to do our best. Okay, and maybe in the future after collecting some pawns we can even try to promote. Okay, so this is of course a very nice move. In this position Maybe we can even go <clears throat> knight g8, if he gives a check, maybe we can hide behind and play this rook move, this can be a very nice idea, because I do, I do want my knight uh, close to the king. Also we got a small tempo, but he will give us a check, so this is not really an issue. Okay, so yeah, this is our only legal move. And he can take, but we still need to survive it somehow. So what's the idea? I guess he wants to play um, rook h7 and go for the mate. So in this position, even playing um, rook e7 protected seems like a nice idea. I can give a check, we can go back. And obviously if we can go for the draw in this type of position, I guess I will accept because I don't think uh, we are even better in this position, of course. I guess this pawn uh, sacrifice was not really favoring us. Okay, so any checks, we go back. And next, uh, I guess I will play uh, c4 and try to go for the attack. Okay, so for example, c4, take, you move, um, we can maybe try to go for the attack. If this knight move, we can even try to fall king and uh, rook. So we need to be really flexible on this uh, on this position. I do want to try to understand what went wrong. Yeah, so actually opening the file is working for both edge. So taking as actually was was actually good for him. And I guess I was too busy on the attack on the B file and I let him to open uh, the position. I let him open the position, so he's got a very very nice attack. 
Okay, so again guys, my, my next plan is to push and go uh, Queen E3 check and again if he's going to move, uh, give another check from uh, E8, I'm going to <coughs> um, push the, move the rook back. Okay, I don't really want to allow him to infiltrate with the rook and checkmate me. Okay, so we move the rook back, everything is protected. If he moves back, I will also move, yes, I will move back. And again, I will accept the draw, okay? I don't think I was uh, I was uh, better in this position, of course. So, GG well played. Now, I want to see... First of all, we both played fine. We played like 1850, so it was kind of okay. Now, let's see the analyze of this game. So, as you see, this is a typical... Um, kings in defense in this position you can play like this for example this is a, a very famous line so I mean there are many many ideas in this position you can go for example if for example you can you can go like this you can for example um, go c5 in this position you can try to attack his bishop if you attack you take if he moves, you play f5. I mean, there are many, many uh, structures in this position, very fine line, lines to play. But, yeah, so f, f3, I find it uh, to be a very aggressive uh, style of playing. So, we shot castle. Okay, so this, this was the idea. Um, in this line, you want to play actually a6. So, basically, it's, it makes sense because you want to prepare a queen side attack. So, I guess this was my mistake. Now playing c5, and if he takes, you take with the knight, if he takes, you take, and in the end you're completely okay. This is completely fine. This was, this was my idea. Um, so because sometimes the knight a6 is, is actually a move, so I, I guess I got uh, confused. Now Playing e6 in this position was actually the best option like to take, but I was really afraid that, for example, I will play like this, and then you can go queen side and get a very big pressure on my uh, on my pawn. Now you maybe need to defend, but I guess it's maybe a little bit passive because you can attack like this. I mean, it's not so simple to, to protect this pawn, you see, like... Maybe the engine got a solution, but let me see. So, for example, we are playing e6. Okay, so if it was uh, depends on the en engine, it, it doesn't think that uh, white should even take this pawn. Okay. So, I will keep that in mind. I guess I need some more confidence on playing e6. So the game's continuing. Now we are playing a6, but this was a bit late for that. Okay, so b5 was a move. Yeah, and taking was bad because we need to play rook b8 first and then put some more pressure on this position. So this is makes sense. We take with the knight. We damage his structure. Okay, so now actually playing e6 was a blunder. So I did play e6, but um, why is that a blunder? Because of the bishop, maybe? Oh, and we cannot take this pawn. Mm. Yeah, so actually he's snatching this pawn because this queen is now longer uh, protected by this rook. So, yeah, my bad, I kind of missed that. So he take, he also missed that. And yeah, this d5 was uh, completely a move. Because if he's going to take, we're going to try to open the, the file completely. Um, okay, interesting position. Okay, and taking with e6 was actually a good idea. And in this position, uh, white is up uh, plus 3, so white is totally winning in this position. This was a great move. Now the game is almost equal. Okay, so as you see, a very, very interesting game. Uh, we, we both play well, but I guess this position wasn't really easy. So if we check it again, <clears throat> in this position, a6 is the top move. 
Okay, and okay, so I get the idea. I get the idea. Let me just see it before I explain it. Okay, so this is a very long line. Okay, so basically I understand the idea. So the engine uh, does like the idea of supporting this uh, C5 uh, break with the, with the knight, but it's preferred to play A6 and with the knight try to do it um, with the knight to D7 and then try to break this uh, um, C file completely. So again, guys, I'm still studying and learning the, this line as myself, so I did uh, study a lot from this position. Let's just see. Want to check everything? Yeah, so this was a blunder, obviously, because uh, I take, it takes, and I cannot take back. I'm going to lose my queen. So this was uh, really misplayed by me. Yeah, and also in this position, playing uh, d5 to try open some lines to have some uh, counterplay. So in this position, uh, white is still slightly better, but. Um, at least you are trying to open up the position and trying to punish uh, white for uh, keeping his uh, king in the center. Uh, okay, I think this is, this is it for today guys. Hope you enjoyed and I'm going to see you on the next video.